what's going on everybody this is Mehul and welcome to your 18th PHP tutorial in which we'll be looking at how to return a value from a function now what does that even mean to return something now in the last few tutorials we looked at how to create a function like this function add this and num1 num2 so we have created this function before and what we did is we just summed the two numbers supplied by the user and we displayed it on the screen now what happens is that let's say I want to store this value somewhere and I don't want to just echo it right away and just throw it on the screen I want to do something else with this so what I can do is I can return this value from this function where I am calling this function so previously what we did is we call this function like this add this 10 and 12 let's say so it will produce 22 as the output and once it produces 22 it would right away throw it on the screen so it is visible to the user but what we can do is we can make use of something called return now what this return does is whenever I will call this function this whole expression turns out to be the value which is being returned so what is happening here is let's say I have a variable x equals 22 and I have a variable y equals add this 10 and 12 so what happens is when this function is called this function is called the control goes here these two numbers are added and they are returned now they are returned where they are returned where they are called so they are called as a value of y so when this is called this would return something and that return value would get stored inside y so currently if I call y with arguments 10 and 12 then y also contains 22 and x also contains 22 so if I echo y right here and if I display it on the screen you see I got 22 but I could make use of like my final result is like this also so you see that we got my final result I guess I should change it to view source to normal view so we got my final result is 22 now just like I have this value of y here I could even make it or modify it by any factor I like so I can multiply it by 100 and then subtract 100 from it as well then I can add 78 then minus 90 901 then divided by 10 or whatever I want to do and then I can echo your updated value is this which I don't know what would be so it surprisingly is 2087.9 okay so that's how the return type in a function works and not only this you can return anything you like so for example let's say you have a function here um, let's say greet user and let's say is a name let's say you want to echo hello name now this would immediately echo the hello name as the name I supplied but I want to store it somewhere let's say I change it to return hello name so what I'll do is I'll write it as result equals create user mail so what happens is now in the result there is the string hello name but it's up to me now that whether I use it or not so e I can display some HTML here and then I can again echo result here freely so I can make the call to the function somewhere and then use that value somewhere with the help of return statements you see and not only this in PHP you could actually return an array as well so let's say you have to return a lot of values let's say you want to return let's say just two values for the simplicity of this tutorial so let's say you have 
uh, calc as a function and it accepts uh, let's just say square and cube as a function which would return the square of a number and a cube of a number passed so let's say we have answer here as sqcub as let's say 10 and inside here what I did is square is n star n and cube is n star n star n simple enough and then what I want to do is I want to return square and I want to return cube now this won't work because in a script in a function you could have only one return actually you could have as many returns as you want but only one would be executed why because as soon as the first return is encountered all the other code is ignored below it so let's say even if I have like echo blah 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 here then this code would never be run because once the control comes here it return square and it kills this function call so the control comes here it finds this okay I have assigned square the value of square the cube the value of cube and it returns the square that's it then nothing else runs below this so even if you have a return statement here it won't run even if you have an echo here even if you have something else here that won't run so that's the reason you can't return multiple values but to return that we can make use of an array so we can return a single array which contains multiple values obviously so we can make use of array let's say result is an array with square and cube as the values now I can make use of return result which is an array so there's no problem now because I have returned an array therefore this value is also an array now so this is not an integer this is not a string this is an array so we can make use of war dump here or printr printr would be um, pretty here so let's make use of printr answer let's reload this so inside the view source you see that we got an array as output with the zeroth element as 100 and the first element as 1000 which makes sense because the square of 10 is 100 and the square of hun um, square uh, cube of 10 is 1000 let's try it with let's say 2 so you see that square of 2 is 4 and cube of 2 is 8 so that's how basically return works and you could pretty much return um, anything from a function as long as you're not breaking the code so that's all for, that's all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to share with your friends so that's it for this tutorial and thank you for watching